2024, robot vacuums that can go over thresholds. 2025 was roller mops. And 2026, the robot vacuum will be the key to the smart home. With the bankruptcy of iRobot, the robot vacuum space has com been completely transformed because the leaders now are no longer brands like Shark and iRobot. They're really the Roborox, the Dreamies, and the Narwhals of the world. Because the technology that they're showcasing us, here is the Roborox Saros Rover. It is solving that vertical mobility problem that we've always complained about our robo vacuums. So this allows its independent moving legs to climb upstairs while actively cleaning them. And that's a real revolution when you consider that no other robot vacuum could do this prior, especially without having to go inside of some type of exoskeleton or inside of a, another robot. And as Roborock has now claimed the title for number one robot vacuum company in the world, what they're really driving on is value. So we're seeing that Yes, the flagship models are coming with more suction power than ever because the Sarosonic is coming with 35,000 Pascal of suction. And there's going to be variants that they have spin mops and sonic mops and clean stations that will change its mop pads and you have the Roborock Curve 2 Flow with its own rolling mop pad. But yet the future really comes down to which one is going to have the best AI or the best AI intelligence stack in terms of the navigation. And the Roborox pathing is still best in class, which allows it to stay number one inside of the robo vacuum space, even without offering all of the top features like its competition. The second most advanced robot vacuum that we expect to be released in 2026 is going to be the Narwhal Flow 2. The Narwhal Flow 2 is very similar to the Narwhal Flow 1. However, it comes with an updated AI intelligence stack because it is now sending out its object recognition to the cloud. So in that cloud, it now allows it to have unlimited object recognition, and that is a big jump from the 200 or the, even the 260 object recognition you're getting from other flagship models. And in order to meet that standard, they had to train their AI. They also had to make everything hyper secure in terms of the security, as well as they made improvements to their track map on their Narwhal flow. So Narwhal is kind of the third player where they're doing a lot of the innovation. They're trying to stand out from the rest. And now they have the most intelligent AI stack, at least on paper. And quickly, before I name our next two top flagship models for 2026, at least the ones that we can anticipate, let's just call out, there's a lot of these robot vacuums that you never heard of or you might not know that are gonna look really modern because last year, the most moderns were these modular systems for brands like SwitchBot. But as we see now, because they're modular, they did not catch on because they were either too big or the overall performance, the cleaning performance was not as predictable and just didn't live up to expectations. So we really have to test these devices before we can say, wow, this is the future because I've been disappointed many times before. Another big thing was having robotic arms on Robovax. And I think even that is going to be a little bit of a gimmick because it's really tuned so that you can pick up a sock or a perfectly placed cap on the floor. But if that sock is resting on something, it might not be able to pick it up. Dreamy is now the number two robot vacuum manufacturer in the world. And in terms of their flagship models, a lot of attention is going to be placed on the Dreamy Cyber 10, which is coming with a robotic arm. But in my opinion, the Dreamy Aqua 10 Ultra, which is coming with steam for a roller mop vac, is going to be the most revolutionary or the most high-tech Dreamy of 2026. Because more so than what an arm can do for mopping performance, steam might be a absolute game changer because more than rubbing and worrying about pressure, if you're adding heat and steam, that might be a game changer in just breaking up caked on organic stains or sticky stains or any other stain on your floor much better than before. And this is the Robotin Auto Carpet Washing and Drying Robot Vacuum. And it is a lot bigger than your normal robot vacuums. And that's because it does something they can't. It can deep clean your carpet. So for people who are living in homes that are predominantly carpet and rug, 
but this is going to have higher performance because it's bigger. It's also going to be better at cycling water because it has a three-stage auto washing system as well as its own modular design specialized for carpet washing. And the Robotin, because it's bigger, it is going to be more durable as well as it's a paradigm shift from all of the tiny robot vacuums that we've come accustomed to seeing as it gets smaller and smaller. It's nice to see that, hey, someone's trying to make something more powerful that might be a little bit bigger, especially for homes that are primarily focused on carpet. From MOVA, the robot vacuum you really got to keep an eye out for is going to be on the MOVA Z70 Ultra. And that's because it builds on everything the Z60 Ultra did with his rolling mop pad. But now they increase the suction power to the 40,000 Pascal, which is probably going to be the top end for the entire year. And the Z70 looks like it's going to come with a updated cleaning station. It's going to be coming with additional components. It has more sensors. But truth of the matter is, is it going to clean as well as the Z60 did? Because if it does, and it's priced accordingly close to about $1,000 on sale, I don't know if you're going to really be able to beat it on specs, or at least on paper. Because every single brand and every single robot vacuum needs to differentiate itself from all the other robot vacuums and all the other brands out there. So we are seeing each robot vacuum really start picking a specialty, right? They're going, each one's doing a specialty. Maybe some can go upstairs, some can, you know, get flatter, some are smaller, some are smarter, but each one is gonna have a specialty. They are showcasing us technology that most likely many of us will never use and not need to use. Like how many of us are gonna need to put our robot vacuum with a drone, right? How My house, it's not, I don't have a house big enough to justify getting a robot vacuum that can go into a drone and the drone picks it up and takes it around your house or takes it outside. I can't justify that. Just like I can't justify a robot vacuum that goes into its own hybrid exoskeleton climber rover, right? Imagine a robot vacuum that climbs into another robot just to climb up big stairs or go up a mountain, right? These are, these are the new features that people are creating. But I find those features are more just to give you a grand idea, like a future concept, because the best current concepts are like robot vacuums that can carpet clean. That's that. This is something that I've been asking for. A carpet cleaning robot vacuum is here. A robot vacuum with a roller mop that now uses steam, right? They have a steam device that will inject steam and use that with the roller mop. That has also come out. So we can see where this usable technology and how it is shaping the future of robot vacuums and the direction. In one direction, it's all about mobility. So a robot vacuum that can climb your stairs like a Roborock Rover, maybe a robot vacuum that can easily move back and forth faster because it's making faster decisions like you get on a Dreamy X60, which the biggest Improvement there is not so much that it can go over thresholds because the X50 could do that. It is that if I put an obstacle in front of it or if I ask it to make a decision, it will make the decision way faster, shortening the overall runtime. So that session is going to finish faster because now the robot vacuum is making decisions faster. And the last thing about 2026 is there is a new race for how many objects a robot vacuum can recognize. So there's two ways your AI system can detect objects. Object one or way one is going to be that it has a front facing camera. It's gonna take a picture of that and it's gonna compare it to a local database, a database that is on board. The second way is that it will send out that information to the cloud. So your robot vacuum is connected to the cloud and it will send a picture of that to the cloud. And because of how quickly AI is reacting, how quickly all of these AI databases can respond to your robot vacuum and collate all that information for you, they're almost now an unlimited amount of objects your robot vacuum can detect. And ultimately, these are my choices for what is the key features and themes for robot vacuums in the future. 
So with that, thanks for watching everybody. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below and please hit that like or subscribe button. It really does help support our channel. We'll have all of these robot vacuums reviewed this year. I just wanted to let you know what to anticipate. So with that, thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.